basically everything you need to know will be in this video and yeah y'all can hopefully I can reach out to someone who is new here and they can you know catch the first fish or catch the first carp or just you know want to learn things I know <laughs> Okay, so step one into catching carp is you need some sort of fishing setup, whether that may be a rod or a fishing hand line. So the line I recommend is if you do not have braid, I'm using currently 8LB braid on both of these rods, but you need leader, that's the problem. So with line, if you have braid, I recommend 8LB or 6LB, something around that. Could probably go with like 12 or something, but this is what I like. 6LB and 8LB this is my go-to but if you don't have braid if you have monofilament which I use all the time with my Jarvis walkers 6LB or 8LB should work just fine but with rods rods I would recommend 2 to 4 kg this is my Shimano quickfire with the Sienna works like a charm but if you want to go down more I've got a 1 to 4 kg rod from bait and tackle I bought the other one from anaconda with the dial crossfire that brings me up to step two you need hooks to catch fish of course so what I recommend for carp is these bait holder sixes bait holder in the, uh, these flies bait holder in the size six size step three you need bait the only two baits I recommend is corn kernels and worms scrubbies you can't go wrong with them you've got everything but this brings me up to sec step four what you got to do is pick a spot this spot is close to my house but i found it through google maps as well and the fishing victoria website that brings me to step five as well scope out your spot but the most important thing you can do is look at the spot just spend a few minutes, five minutes, just looking at the water. If you see bubbles right there, that means that's carp. But most bubbles, they're not carp or fish. In order to know that they are actually carp, not methane, just imagine there's a carp bubble right there. Put your finger right here. If you put your finger here, and if the bubble keeps on going that way, if the bubble comes up from here and keeps on moving, that's a carp. That's how you know. Okay, so we're just gonna rig this up. First things first, get your line and put it through the eyelets. Size two sinkers. Put it through. Now you need a swivel. That's all you need, just a swivel. Any fishing knot. Now you need your line. 6LB, Vanish Berkeley. So with leader, this is very important. I go with, that's about 10 centimeters. I go with about 40. I go, yeah, 40, 50, something like that. Now the hooks. I am gonna put a worm on it. See, there's a special way I rig up worms. Poke it through and then just thread the worm on, onto the hook. There we go. This is, killer bait right here if you do this method this will catch you redfin this will catch you eels carp basically you know, anything really do that way once the worm gets to about once its head gets to about that spot just push it up pull it up and onto the line look at that nice nice natural presentation and let's cast out what you got to do is look at where the bubbles are if there's no bubbles just cast a bit 
like I'm fishing a river so right now what I will do is I'll cast into the middle and then if I don't get any bites I'll slowly you know I'll probably reel it in I'll throw it this way that way basically anywhere I see a bubble right there but I really like the spot so I don't really want to move so. <laughs> also you can target those that weed right there is carp haven okay so the next bait we have is corn kernels corn kernels they're pretty good sometimes i usually like to use these um in ponds just toss them onto the hook like that leave the hook a bit exposed you have a whole tin of corn right here grab a handful and toss it out just right there all you gotta do is cast out where you threw the burly so where I threw it was just right here just uh, about 12 13 feet ahead of me maybe like 10 or something that's roughly where I threw it out a bit kind of like centimeters I missed the hookup race. No, it came up. Wait, it's still on. It's still on. Guys, I've got a fish. I've got a fish. <laughs> hey, this was on the freaking, uh, what's it called? This was on the corn. <laughs> hey, my method works. <laughs> I was just going through some footage and then, oh my God, this thing just bites out of nowhere. What did I say? Burly works. <laughs> this, is, this is my channel, guys. This is me. Whenever I catch a fish, what I don't care which fish it is, it pumps me up all the time. <laughs> so, press the subscribe button. <laughs> okay, let's get this fish now. Ah. I was looking. Yeah, I've got a fish. I've got a beautiful carp. Oh no, slime. There we go. It's got pretty messy getting it, but it's carp. Gonna tie in some more hooks. Oh, more bait, more corn on, and yeah, that is one nice carp. Now, if you're in Victoria, you have to kill these carp. You have to kill them. It's part of the law, so I'm gonna just like, I didn't have a knife, but there's rocks here, so I'm gonna kill the carp right now. So one of the most important things is carp. When you catch a bunch of them, like. If you catch two of them or three, what carp usually do is they, they kind of abandon the spot. They'll be like, oh, something fishy is going on here. Where's Billy at? Where's Jonathan at? Where's Jack? That, those are supposed to be carp names, but yeah. They'll say like, no, where's my friend at? And then they'll be like, oh, no, nah, he's been taken by an alien. He's been taken by an Indian boy. So they'll just go downstream. They'll go upstream. They'll go wherever. And that's when you got to find them. The fishing will slow down then but just because he took some carp doesn't mean there's not fish here there's definitely going to be fish here but they're going to be more aware that's when you got to be a bit more sneaky about it i need to get a better tripod that's what i'll oh there it is there it is oh it's fighting like an eel is it fighting like an eel it's a carp it's a carp hey we caught a carp on the worm <laughs> caught a carp on the worm that's all it was fighting it was biting exactly like an eel. Tighten my drag just a tad. Oh, whoa. For some reason this one bit like an eel. Oh, it came off the bloody thing. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, this is exactly what I was talking about. If you catch many carp in one spot, the carp eventually will move out of this area. Right now, the carp are not here. There is no bite, no bite at all, no fish action. We gotta go down to more. Fish! Guys, there's the fish, the fish, the carp. Oh my god, that thing bit like a beast. See, when in doubt, follow the bubbles. Oh, this footing is not right. Where is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a big car. How awesome would it be if I caught the same car again that got off? Revenge. This is heavy. <laughs> Holy. Not a bad fish. Oh no, what am I saying? Massive fish. Okay, so I forgot to mention a few things, uh, you know, for carp fishing. One thing about times, the carp are pretty much active like all day. But if you really want to catch a carp, I recommend early mornings, around 8 or something, uh, probably even earlier. Around 12 is good. From 12 to like 6 something is a great area. Guys, I've got a fish! Oh my god! I didn't even see it! I didn't see the rod move or nothing! Oh my god! It's a small one, whatever it is. Of course it's... Wait, it's fighting exactly like an eel. It is an eel. <laughs> Baby, I can just eat them. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> They're so cute, man. I want to keep it as a pet. <laughs> Imagine that, having an eel as a pet. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. It's an eel. It's another eel. Let me guess. It's fighting exactly like an eel. <laughs> Why, man? Why is it gonna be an eel? Let me guess. It's an eel. It's not fighting like it. Wait, what? Is it an eel? Is it a redfin? Please be ready. Is it a redfin? Oh no, it's an eel. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, it's a baby carp! Oh my god! Yo, yo, that's my first baby! Oh my god, that's the smallest carp I've ever caught. Oh my god. Yo, that's just embarrassing now. Just go a bit! There's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite! There we go, there we go, fish on! Oh, it's an eel! Oh, oh wait, no, it's still there. It's still there. Hey, it's a pretty good eel. This is a massive eel. It's not like the big ones you get at Gippsland or whatever, but hey, pretty, pretty good, pretty good size. Yo, imagine if we caught an eel like freaking meat along or whatever. That would honestly be. You son of a. Just got a bite. There we go. Whatever it is, it's got me snagged. Oh wait, it's a carp. There we go. It was snagged for a bit, but it's out now. Oh, it's going under the line. Oh, no. This was on the corn. Oh no. Oh, wait. Okay. 
my least favorite part, getting it up. Oh! Oh, I missed it. Look at that. What I always accidentally do with this carp is actually accidentally always get the gills. Like I rip open the gills for some reason. I try to like get yeah, but I can't explain it very well, but this is a good carp. Oh wait, wait, wait. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish right here. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a fish. Holy crap. For a second I thought I caught onto the lure. I caught it with the lure. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take the bell off. Holy crap. There's the other two. Other three is over there, but other two is over there, I meant. Oh, this is a good carp. This is a good fish. We're gonna take off. We're gonna take off. Come here. All I wanna do is land you. Okay, slack line. Okay, what you wanna do is grab it behind the gills and push down. Here, I'll show you. Grab it behind the gills and push down. Put its head in the in like the mud and the grass, whatever. This way, it doesn't, you know, just flap around and come off. Off you. See that? Boom. Just like that. Push it to the ground. Now, we've successfully landed it and this counts, so. Five fish, let's go. Five fish. Okay, everyone. I think it's safe to say that today was a great fishing day. I got to film how to catch a carp. So now you guys know how to catch a carp and you guys can do it out there for yourself. Remember, I'm gonna tell you guys all the steps you need to know. Basically, first thing you know, you need to know is get the right rod. Step two, what you gotta do is get the right tackle. You need the right hooks, size six bait holders, they work a charm. Go for them, 6 LB line, a must, and size 2 sinkers. Swivels, you can just use anything smaller than that really. Uh, step 3, get the right bait. You've got corn, you've got worms. You know, some people might have better uh, luck with bread. I personally do not have better luck with bread. I've tried it multiple times. I cannot catch a single cup with it. And step 4, get... What is step 4? Oh yeah, pick the right spot. To pick the right spot, you gotta do some research. You can't just, you know, well you can just go, go on Google Maps, type up spots near you. I recommend doing that as well. But firstly, to get, to get started with fishing, I recommend doing online research. Step five, you gotta look at the spot. You almost, well, yeah you can, but the only thing people get wrong lately is they don't check out the spots. You see, when I'm over here, I try my best to look at the spot. I'll be like, here for five minutes, I'll be like, oh, where the hell's the bubbles at? Where's the bubbles? Oh, there it is. Because carp, you know, you gotta stick around for a while. If you're here for like 10 seconds, of course you're not gonna see much bubbles or nothing. You gotta be here for five minutes. Look at the spot, look at the bubbles, look at any fish action, even if it's fish jumping. You gotta, you gotta be here for a while. Five minutes is not that much. Press the subscribe button if you made it to the end of the video. And leave a couple of comments down below. I like reading comments, I like answering them. So, I try my best to answer all of them. Sometimes I miss out, but... I check up on videos and then I find new comments, so... Yeah. Pretty good. Signing out. Yeah. <laughs>